This illusion is called time, pulling a bit from the phrase call time, but also mingled with how I use paintings to keep time and sort of halt time. Almost like one would a journal. The concept was simple, and that translates to extravagant to me, although in the end I do have mixed feelings about it. The figure is at rest while concurrently experiencing unrest. From afar, the head acts as an anchor and observes the body's unease, its tenseness, and how it's startled by this abrupt halt. The hands are raised in a signal of caution and hypervigilance. Can the body dress this time to recoup what it has lost as well as what it has found? That is yet to be known. Maybe for me, my mixed feelings are about what the painting is expressing. It doesn't strike a single nerve, but several that sort of annoy me in my reality. It's very Saturn. It's very Capricorn to me, while I think I'm Aquarian in my artwork. If that makes sense, though, I do dote on mercurial symbolism, which is a good segue to mention that Abraham Lincoln is used as an example in certain astrology material. As a prime example of a Saturn personified person, in a way, although medical texts speculate his attributes and behavior align with having mercury poisoning or mercury erethism, erethism, erethism. Anyway, it's a neurological disorder that was better known as Mad Hatter's disease or Hatter shakes because mercury is used in the hat felting process. Just a fun little tidbit. This came together in 45 minutes, although it's not the neatest. My brush did get away from me here and there. And there were also a few spots I overlooked because I was hyper fixated on certain spots, like the back in particular. I did have a bit of difficulty redrawing the concept on this canvas. It was the arrangement of limbs, and when I draw concepts, I try to keep them loose with minimal details that are still open to changes, which works great for me because I'm indecisive and I like to work intuitively when I paint. And this one in particular, I was tempted to add some things to make it intricate, to make it, you know, signature for me, but I didn't because the sketch was challenging, you know, just from <clears throat> the positioning alone. I doubt the intricate stuff I was considering would have read cleanly to an onlooker, and I'm trying to be more considerate of how someone else would digest and or process my art. So on that note, what are your thoughts? How does this make you feel when you look at it? If you feel anything at all, comment something, scathing even. You'd be surprised how much I appreciate comments that are not spam or a bot of some sort. And I won't proceed you to subscribe, but if you like this, consider watching some of my other videos. I have quite a lot, and I post a new one at least once a week. So, you know, you do what feels right. And if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.